All right, welcome to CyberTech Risk Talks. Uh, today we are talking about a very interesting topic, how AI can impact cybersecurity. To do that, we have an expert here, Tassin Shaba from Bibu Labs. Tassin, welcome. Thank you very much, Brian. And thank, I'm humbled to be here talking about the topic I've been very passionate about for some time uh, at your show. Thank you. So, at the beginning, can you give us some like a general idea? We know cybersecurity is very hard, AI is hard, then combining those two together is even harder. But how AI can really impact cybersecurity? Can you give us some like a general ideas? Yeah, that's a great question. Now we've seen AI already being used in cybersecurity for quite some time, and there's a lot of hype in, in this space as well. But right. from a broad uh, perspective, uh, not being inclusive, but we can perhaps talk about it from three different angles. One is the okay. defensive aspect, where how do you how AI is used from a defensive perspective to detect and defend against attacks. Another could be the offensive aspect, where you have uh, hackers who are highly sophisticated and targeted in nature, and they're leveraging the latest tools and techniques to better penetrate um, existing organizations. Okay. And the third element could be the talent aspect where now we have a number of uh, analysts and cybersecurity professionals and the way they're performing their task is, has changed just because of the amount of data we're now leveraging and automation. So that's an area which would get impacted as well. So uh, speaking of those uh, three categories you mentioned, one is from defensive side, how to embed uh, AI into the cybersecurity solutions. Mm -hmm. Second part is from offensive side, uh, talk about how bad guys may leverage AI as a weapon. And third one is how, what's the impact to the people side, right? The talent, the skills. Yes. So can you elaborate to the first area, the defensive side? How does in, uh, AI impact that area? So that's a great question. And AI, uh, in, in general, machine learning and various statistical models have already been uh, leveraged within cybersecurity from a defensive perspective. Um, and now, um, like if you look at some of the current advancements within um, machine learning in general, um, there's a model called LSTMs, which is being used currently within uh, anomaly detection in IoT devices to better understand deviations from certain norms. In which case, we could, like analysts, could look at get, look at an alert and then better identify if it's a if it's a real attack or, or say a false positive. And LSTM stands for? A long short term memory. Okay, which is a cool. form of recurrent neural networks. All right. And it's a deep learning, uh, say, a, a tool. Okay, so that's one area. Yes. So are there any other in the defensive side? Uh, yes, for instance, uh, if you look at user behavior analytics, and this is something which has been used already. UBA? Yes, yeah. in, in which case usually you have, uh, again, there, there are different approaches to so solving the problem. Mm -hmm. One approach is using a form of the unsupervised learning machine mm. learning model in order to um, come up with different clusters of, of usage and then mm. having a form of supervised learning where you have these clusters, these abstract um, um, say data sets or data points and then under identifying okay what does a cluster represent in which case that gives uh, say the end user it could be an analyst and insight as to uh, how how um, the various users are uh, operating within an enterprise environment. So that's something in where uh, techniques such as unsupervised learning and supervised learning are being used. Okay, wonderful. Okay. And uh, so that's on the defensive side. What about uh, from offensive side or bad guy perspective, how AI can be leveraged? So that's a great question. And um, hackers are usually early adopters of technology and they're okay, getting they're increasingly, fast. <laughs> absolutely, they're getting increasingly uh, sophisticated and targeted. And the interesting thing is with hackers, um, uh, with Defender, from defensive perspective, we just need to make one mistake, which mm -hmm. an attacker can leverage. Right. So the odds are against us. In which case, hackers need to find one loophole and, right. and then one vulnerability they can get in uh, yeah. with the, with the right circumstances. They, they they could be able to cause some serious damage. So from that perspective, AI is used in uh, in various offensive uh, techniques. One would be if you look at uh, malwares. Um, usually with malwares, you have these. Uh, uh, there's a connection between a, a command and control center. In mm -hmm. which case, there's a, a domain it, a, a malware would connect to. Right. And in that case, domain generative algorithms are being used to bypass existing defenses oh, okay. uh, in order to perform this task. So that's one, one approach, again, more dynamic um, right. 
malware. Another is um, data poisoning, in which case attackers can perform um, certain techniques in order to um, to um, change the way machine learning defensive mechanisms work, okay. in which case it changes the, the decision boundaries, in which case it, it can validate a, a model, creating a lot of false positives and then oh. losing trust in, in the actual device. Okay, good to know, good to know. And the third element you talk about the impact the people side, the skill and the talent. Yes. Yeah. So that, that's a great question. And um, with the onset of AI and with so much data, the way uh, analysts are, or cybersecurity consultants uh, perform their tasks are, are changing, in which case um, there, there are various innovations which could be performed in order to change the way an analyst looks at alert, looks at high dimensional data which, which could correspond to the alert and make more sense out of it and um, and to perform their tasks. So there's mm -hmm. a, a lot that could happen in that space. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something we are certainly focusing on. Okay. Another aspect would be, uh, I feel uh, the way in which the industry is progressing, consultants, uh, cybersecurity consultants and professionals would be impaired uh, or would be, um, wouldn't meet their fullest potential if they didn't have some skill sets within data science. They might be off. Uh, outdated if the, the <laughs> AI catch up, right? So. Yeah, with, with, with so much data, I mean, there's so much that can be done. Okay. So if you, in the industry, if you have someone who understands uh, data science within cybersecurity, mm -hmm. there's a huge advantage as okay. opposed to a person who might not have that. So that's what we call the next generation talent. You need to embrace not only like cybersecurity, but also AI, all those emerging technologies. Absolutely. Okay. We welcome. have to uh, catch up with the hackers. Okay, yeah, huh? for sure. All right, so I, what I can hear is a, just a quick summarize. You have those three areas. AI can impact mm -hmm. uh, on the defensive, on the offensive, and also on the people side. Yes. Well, it's very good insight. Thank you very much, Shaba. Thank, thank you very yeah. much. This is thank just you. a high-level overview. All right. Uh, happy to elaborate. Okay, wonderful. We will have a next episode to give you more use cases on how AI can work with cybersecurity. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Brian.